Hey cats, Ed Recovery Bud here. Welcome to the first in a series of my Road to Recovery videos. Hey cats, thanks for tuning in to Ed Bud Running Shoe Reviews. If you're new to the channel or you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button, but also click the bell for notifications for when I launch those new videos for you. And it also helps the channel out a huge amount if you give this video a thumbs up like, but also share it with your running buddies. Thanks. Regular viewers will know about my recent shoulder and elbow injury, so I've decided to give you a weekly update on my recovery process. Less speed, more walking. So it's a week on from my attempt at being Superman. I think I was moving around about 6 minutes 20 seconds per mile when I got appended by a dog lead. So not a laughing matter really, but if you don't laugh you'll just cry. Actually see the dog lead abrasion so on the left foot. Clearly I twisted a little bit and led with my elbow and the shock kind of went up through my shoulder. Hit the concrete pretty hard so fracture to the right shoulder and also a pretty heavy abrasions like a big gash there on my right elbow. No medals for that race. So about eight days on the shoulder's a little less painful now. I do need to attend the hospital later for a checkup but the elbow is still pretty heavily swollen and now things are starting to kind of heal it's probably more painful than ever let's hope it's a yay rather than a nay from the medical masters i'm probably banking on more rest at the moment more relaxation and some rehabilitation perhaps a bit of mobility movement in the arm that's what i think they'll probably come up with i just seem to have had a lot of that in the last week and and kind of itching to get out there and do something. I did manage to get out walking with the family. Some lovely conditions actually, really beautiful weather, some nice sunshine that morning. Just wandering around in the forest there with the squirrels. Was a chance to get out in the Pegasus Trail 3. Ideal really, that shoe for those type of conditions. Wasn't too soft underfoot, just varied terrain and it was really comfortable actually. The React in that shoe is definitely different to some of the others. I think the fresh air, the mild temperatures helped quite a bit. It really improved my kind of general well-being I suppose. Got the legs moving and no dogs to contend with which is always a good scene. Still love those dog beasts though but I can't deny I do keep replaying that incident in my mind. I wouldn't say nightmare type stuff but I have been thinking about it and it is playing on my mind. Even that little section where it happened. Don't hold any grudges about it. Dogs are enthusiastic beasts. They want to roam around and sniff the scents. But I think it's just awareness of the people there. Keeping an eye on them. Got out again on Monday just to walk a couple of miles in the brisk, blustery conditions. Again, quite mild temperatures really. A little bit of light rain. It did make me feel alive though. Even just getting outside. The Vomero 16 with the Innovate Boomerang insoles. It's turning that shoe into perhaps what I wanted from the Invincible run. Little less weight, better lockdown, the upper's much better. And it's a wider shoe in the forefoot as well, so if you have a wider foot, it might be worth checking out the Vomero 16. Certainly enjoying the massive cushion that I've got into that shoe now with the extra insole, stopping that shock going up through my right arm, which is a real winner right now. One big issue that I have run into is actually trying to tie up my shoes. That's really, really difficult when you've only really got any sort of force you can exert with one hand. Trying to pull with the right hand at the moment is a bit like a uh, year's membership to Pain Palace. Has got me thinking about those flyies options. I did cover that in yesterday's video. So maybe I will pick up one of those if they drop into a sale. Just so I can see how well you can actually lock the shoe down using the flyies setup. I think the ideal choice would be the Pegasus 38 Shield. But I bet they'll just release it in like a really boring black and charcoal colorway. It's, it's not really my bag. I think the worst thing at the moment is looking outside and seeing the weather, September, October amongst my favourite running months. I love the wetter, windier weather. And there's still a reasonable amount of light early on and later in the day to be able to get out and do some miles. To keep the legs moving, I have been utilising the stationary exercise bike. Although, in fairness, I still need a little bit more arm mobility to be able to make sure that I'm balanced okay on there. I have useless balance anyway. Not that that would have saved me from this incident, but... Yeah, I just need a little bit more mobility there and power in my right arm. That side, I was super lucky to avoid some sort of head injury or something. That could have been really bad. I think arm swing is a huge factor when it comes to running. And I can't get away from the fact that I'm not going to have full arm mobility and be able to swing that arm back fully for a little while. I think it's going to be a few weeks yet. So I think it's going to be baby steps really as we move forward over the next week or so. Got only limited movement and range. It's actually pulling the arm back is more the problem at the moment. I can do things moving the arm forward, but 
yeah the shoulder just refuses to respond if i want to go further back you get that sort of pain threshold raises up and it just won't let you move it <laughs> short forward motion and fine motor skills are no problem i can use some mouse keyboard things like that it aren't too bad now i've been making use of office 365's dictation option as well which has proved invaluable at least I've been able to make use of playing on my Nintendo Switch a little bit. It's something I haven't played for ages, in fact. With those detachable controls, I can sit quite comfortably and while away the hours playing Metroid Dread. Probably not the best way to keep busy, but it's keeping my mind occupied, which is half of the battle. Playing the Switch again reminds me of my childhood consoles, you know, the Nintendo Entertainment System. I remember the Christmas day that I got it, unwrapping the console taking it out of the box the blue plastic bags that were over the controllers and i think i got an a-team cassette and book combo can't remember what the story was something about chickens or something i remember listening to that on my walkman reading the story from the book there was always a special sound that they put on when you had to turn the page I do love a good Metroidvania type game where you expand the pathways and carefully sort of boost your character's power and skills. Certainly some retro vibes there does remind me of the early 90s. And again, it's reignited my interest in the Switch actually, which now has the functionality to enable Bluetooth earbuds, which it didn't before. Seems a bit odd. I mean, it's not a fresh spring chicken, this one. It's been out for ages, the Switch. Certainly recommend Metroid Dread. If you do have a Switch, go and check it out. Fantastic game. Though I would suggest the encounters with the EMMI enemies are a little frustrating at times. I'd suggest more frustrating, in fact, than not being able to run. So I do hope to have some news later today as to whether I can get out and start doing some stuff soon, hopefully. At least an update as to how the arm is starting to heal and repair. Hopefully I might be able to do some limited dynamic stretches that is a really important thing i always used to do before going out running just keeping the mobility there making sure i'm nimble and ready for action slowly getting my appetite back as well which is good eating healthily is only going to help my recovery those anti-inflammatory tablets that i was given really messed up my appetite Sometimes I'll be really hungry, other times I didn't want food at all. So it'd be nice to get back into a routine and more sort of regular sort of behaviour. I want to say thanks again to everybody for all their positive messages. Really nice to see. It does mean a great deal to me and it's really helped me through certainly the last week. It just gives me that boost that you need when you're feeling a bit low. I do have some new shoes incoming. Look out for an unboxing of those in the next few days. A quick musical interlude for you. You guys know I'm really into my rock and roll music. And one of the true heroes of that period when it first appeared was Chuck Berry. I think he would have been 95 if he was still around. And what an incredible mass of music he produced. The reason I started listening to Chuck again yesterday was that Gibson have produced a special guitar. I think it's a hundred pieces only of his famous 1978 ES355. It looks absolutely amazing. It's got some stunning custom shop appointments there. They've even gone through and cracked the nitrocellulose lacquer that covers the guitar, making it look really old. Beautiful maestro vibrato on there. Very tone. Oh man, it's incredible. It's way, way out of my price range, but what a wonderful instrument. One of my favourite Chuck Berry tracks is Nadine, Is That You? There's so much going on in this song in terms of the actual structure. The lyrics are fantastic. These parts of it, they're almost like a rap, I suppose. The way the words just flow into one another. And there's all sorts of different rhythms going on in the track as well. Some fantastic guitar playing in there. The sounds as well. Chuck always had a, such a wonderful, simple guitar sound, but always so good, just on the verge of distortion. He was a very able sort of jazz and blues player, really when you think about it. Clever guy and a superb showman as well on stage. Go and check out some of his material, including the track Dear Dad. That's a real winner as well. Go old Chuck, rest in peace. Thanks for tuning in guys, it's always appreciated. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and the bell below for notifications when I roll those new videos out for you. And it really helps the channel out too. To give this video a thumbs up like, but also share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.